Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today is harvest day for these cherry bell radishes. It's been 46 days since I planted them, and they're like 30-day plants, um, but they didn't really grow much. You know, we don't have a lot of sun uh, because it is in the winter and we're in Texas, so it's even more drastic. Um, there's a low amount of sun. So, so I think that's probably what the problem was. I think they didn't get as much sun as earlier when I was planting them in the fall because just yeah I, I think that's the issue and that's why they didn't grow as fast but now is about the time i think i need to pick them hopefully they didn't get too big and too woody um hopefully they're still flavorful um not too spicy we'll see how they go but got to get them out of here because i got to make room for these other plants that are now starting to grow next to them all right i got my trusty colander here it's what i use to harvest these just because then i can just easily hose them off but let's see how these are going Ooh, these ones are in an ant bed Well, we got some nice, good-looking ones. Yep, we got a fire ant bed here. Well, I don't know if they're fire ants, but... Okay, so we got some good ones, some not-so-good ones. They are pretty close together. Oh, yeah. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Most of these are pretty good, so I'm happy with this. This is about the right size for these. They are smaller. They're not big radishes. These are definitely smaller than the ones in the store, no matter how long you let them grow. They just don't get as big because it's a different breed. The ones in the store are a little spicier. These are a little more mild, smaller. Really close to, like, the French breakfast radish and size and flavor they're not really spicy that's why i've been noticing with these is that you get some that are just amazing like those those are perfect and then some that are just way too small to eat so i mean look at that the drastic difference between the two there huge and then not so well i got Probably the largest harvest I've ever gotten just because I did two separate rows and I let them grow a little bit longer than I usually do. But we are going to separate these from the tops. I know that these are edible tops, but my family does not like them. I don't mind them in salads, but my family finds them a little bitter, so they don't eat the salads when they've got them in it. So we're just going to remove them. And in reality, actually, my family doesn't really like radishes. I do. I eat them a lot, and I'll just eat them just as is. So I'm separating, putting them here on the ground. Little ones like this, I am not, I'm just giving to the chickens. So I got chickens also, and the chickens love the radish greens. So they're the ones that eat them. I'm just going to keep the big ones since I got such a good harvest here let the chickens eat the little ones right over here you can see my chickens are just back and forth watching me do this they know that it's coming they keep on coming over here and then up along this uh, wall here or this fence and then clucking trying to let me know they want it this is their favorite thing they love the radish greens so i like to hose them off out here of course i wash them even more when i get them inside <laughs> Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I'm happy with that harvest. It's going to be really good on salads. And I've got enough here. I might be pickling some. I'm going to take those inside. We'll come back and give those greens to the chickens. They're just so excited. They're all waiting for me. And they think I'm coming with it, which I am. A lot of greens for them today. And that's good because I ran out of feed. And they don't have it at the feed store right now. They're not getting it until later this week. So right now, they're eating scratch grain and greens, so I'm happy to give it to them, give them some extra food. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe, and also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out, and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.